what you're about to see is a complete rebuttal to that famous uh, biblical exegesis and historian apostate prophet. Hi everybody and welcome, this is the apostate prophet. These three Muslims, Hamza, Khalil and Zakir Hussein, came together to make a very long stream in which they refute my analysis of the Muslim claim that the Kaaba is indeed found in the Bible, specifically in Psalms 84. I made a 19-minute video in which I focused entirely on the subject. They make a response in which they just have to go into personal attacks and the usual childish attitude. I have to make this short video in which I will show to everyone how ignorant these people are about their own religion. Islam makes the claim that the Kaaba is the first house built for Allah, and this is the most precious thing on the earth. It was built by Abraham according to Islam for... I'm just going to stop it there. Don't we believe it was built by Adam originally? Yes. Yes. It says that Abraham raised the foundations, so there yes. was something there before his time anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Don't we believe it was built by Adam, not Abraham? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but that's not true. I guess that's fine if you personally believe that. But is that the actual accepted Islamic belief? Please tell me, where exactly do you get this from? that Adam built the Kaaba? Which Quran verse do you get it from? Which Hadith do you get it from? Or do you get it from some secondary narrations by Islamic scholars and narrators? I know for a fact that the most accurate and most authentic Islamic interpretation and Islamic telling of this story is that it was Abraham who built the house, raised the foundations and built this cube, the Kaaba. The Quran says that Allah showed Abraham the location of the Kaaba, and Abraham then went there to build it. The Hadith described that Abraham built it. There is no authentic narration in the Hadith, and there is no Quran verse which says that it was built prior to that, or that it was built by Adam. I mean, don't trust me. Go on the most authentic sources here. Let me do it for you. Just Google it, okay? Let me, let me, let me just Google it for you. First, Islam QA, which is a very radical, extremely traditionalist website. The Kaaba was not in one place and then moved. Rather, it was built in the place where it is now, and it has not been moved from that time. The scholars differed as to who built the Kaaba. It was said that it was the angels, or Adam, or Ibrahim, Abraham. The latter is the correct view. No proper source tells us about Adam building it. The next source is about Islam.net. The question is, was it built by Adam or by Abraham and Ishmael? The answer is, some commentators of the Quran say that it was first built by Adam, and some others say that it was first built by the angels of this earth. The website then goes on explaining, it is not mentioned in any verse of the Quran or authentic hadith that it was built by Adam. Some commentators of the Quran say that it was first built by Adam, and some others say that it was first built by the angels on this earth. When Prophet Ibrahim arrived at the place of the Kaaba, the building itself did not exist. Even the city of Mecca had no inhabitants. Allah showed Prophet Ibrahim the site of the Kaaba, and then he and his son Ismail together raised its foundations and built it from the ground up. All other sources which tell you that Adam might have built the Kaaba will only give you the explanation that this is what some people hold. This is what they say. So these three people who want to correct me here at the very beginning and correct me on something that is in my opinion, so basic, and which they should be aware of if they deal with these matters, when I am saying it as it really is, according to Islamic sources, whereas their response to it is merely built on unverified, unauthentic traditions, hearsay. These guys then go on for two hours insulting me, making fun of me, and saying many more ridiculous things, this is nothing, while bragging about how fantastic they are and how great their religion is. I will give a full response to that, it will come in due time. Dear Hamza, dear Khalil, dear Zakir Hussein, seriously man, if you guys want to engage in exchanging ideas and analyzing ideas, refuting ideas, stop being so arrogant and so boastful. When I make claims, I go first and refresh my memory, look into everything, then I sit down and make a video. Because no matter how much I think I know things, I don't want to deliver misinformation. And it's especially not great to do that if you also, on top of that, want to praise yourselves and want Want to humiliate others, which is a whole different story. Please stop being children.
Focus on the information, not on the person. Thank you so much for watching for now. Have a fantastic day and stay away from Islam. He's just lying. This guy's not even qualified with all respect. Definitely, they don't know what they're talking about. AP, obviously, is the savior for the Christians.